Hi, and welcome to Cat Ring Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today is the day of all days. It's New Comic Book Wednesday, so you know I had to have a What's in My Pull Box video. Of course. So let's jump right on into it. It's really late here. I got stuck at work really late. I'm sorry if I look really tired. You know, so is life. <laughs> Um, so first off, starting off with Marvel, we have Inhumans vs. X-Men issue 5. So I'm kind of interested to see where the Inhumans vs. X-Men goes. It's been pretty strong for me throughout, which is saying something because I normally really hate Marvel events. And I'm really enjoying this one so far, so... We shall see. Also, I'm a, I'm really interested. Do they find Black Bolt finally? Because when we, we kind of left off, it was God help us if they find Black Bolt. So I'm kind of interested to see if they find him in this one or not. So next is Deadpool the Duck issue four. Yes, I know Mark's Mark and I still need to review issue three, but you know we were sick there for a period of time, so we're playing catch up. So we might do a two-parter we do back to back on the issues so look out for that definitely a two-parter probably a two-parter just to catch up that's confirmed though it's confirmed we will do a two-parter <laughs> so next is spider-man deadpool issue 14 i love the cover i love this cover and you know Spider-Man and Deadpool, always a funny team-up. So, next is Infamous Iron Man, issue 5. I've been enjoying the hell out of Infamous Iron Man, which is saying something, because I'm not an Iron Man fan, but I'm a huge Victor Von Doom fan, and him as Victor Von Iron Man is awesome. Infamous Iron Man is a must-read for me, anyway. I love it. So... Next is probably my most anticipated Marvel book for the entire month, and that is Elektra. So we have Elektra, issue one. I wasn't really sure what I was expecting going into this. I know it's written by the Luke Cage writing staff, and I gotta tell you, I actually really enjoyed it. The art was strong throughout. So, look out for the review of this. I did already read it. I actually really liked it. So, jumping right on into DC, we have The Commandy Challenge, Issue 2. I have not read it yet, but I loved Issue 1. I love Commandy, The Last Boy on Earth. So, we'll see where The Commandy Challenge, Issue 2, goes. And this one is Tomasi and Adams. It's the signature one. Still Commander Challenge. <laughs> Still Commander Challenge. So next is Suicide Squad issue 12. I really wasn't a fan of the How Dead Is Amanda Waller Really cover that came out for this. But hello, I found this one. And it's got Harley holding a teddy bear and dead shots behind her. I, I kind of think it's awesome. So it had to come home with me. Um, next is Batgirl issue 8, so this is a continuation of the Son of, S of Penguin storyline. Um, you know, I jumped back onto Batgirl for this particular storyline. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I'm still not a fan of this style Batgirl, and I really haven't been ever since they switched over to it in Batgirl Burnside, but I'm trying. I hate the art. The art is ridiculously bad, but I'm, I'm trying. Um, you know, maybe the Son of Penguin's going to be awesome. Who knows? So far, we haven't really seen that much of him. Next is Detective Comics, issue 951. So we are going to see Shiva, the Destroyer. So we got to see her in uh, 950 in the end, the tail end of Cassandra Kane's storyline with that. So pretty excited to see where that goes off. 
Next is The Flash, issue 17. Um, a little side note, my local comic book shop had a huge order from, from Diamond that had been destroyed. Just all the books were trashed in it. So I was one of the few subscribers that actually got their hands on a Flash book this month. And uh, I'm going to go through, there were actually a couple of books that I won't be getting, and well, this week, there are actually a couple of books I won't be getting until later on, maybe next week, just because they were so damaged. Um, next is Deathstroke, issue 13. Like I said, this wasn't even on the shelves either. Only certain subscribers actually got their hands on them. I didn't have any variant covers or anything to, to choose from, but I love Deathstroke. Very excited about that. Next is Justice League of America issue one. You know, same thing with this. This was the only cover that wasn't destroyed. I wanted to read it. Uh, Wonder Woman issue 17. So I wasn't a fan of either cover for this. There's a cheetah cover of this, and then there's this cover. Wasn't really a fan of either one. This is not that attractive of a Wonder Woman. Look at that face. She she looks like she's half asleep with her lasso in her hand. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but whatever. We've all seen Flashdance. Uh, pretty much. Uh, next is Teen Titans issue 5. This is probably my favorite DC cover for this week. I mean... Tell me that's not your standard Damian Wayne. I mean, just watching the shit out of his Titans. That's that's totally what I expect out of Damian Wayne, just to have monitor screens up and monitor his entire team and judge them. Have little notes to tell them exactly how much they suck later on. Plus it's all over the place. Pretty much. Pretty much, just like the little mental notes. So next, getting right on into the indies of the week. Not a lot of indies this week, but there are some really great ones. First off is The Belfry. So I love this book. I know I talked about this in my top picks. I know this was one of the books that I was the most anticipated for for the month. This is a one-shot horror comic. Uh, it's from Gabriel Hardman. It's freaking fantastic. I'm going to be reviewing this book, so look out for it. I had to read it as soon as I got it. I'm, I love this book. I mean, oh my gosh. Next is The Old Guard. And this is Greg Rucka's newest book from Image Comics. Read it. I thought it was good. It was good. Um, I will be reviewing this. I'll tell you more about my exact thoughts are on this and the characters in it uh, and its review. So, sorry this is kind of late, guys. I got stuck at work late. So, we all know how it goes when you work full, full weeks and your boss decides to take off randomly and you have to cover all their shit. We don't know how that goes. So excuse me if I look tired or if this isn't as detailed as my normal pull box videos. I do have a bunch of reviews coming out and so does Mark. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, you know, shit happens, life happens. But we do have a bunch of reviews coming out soon. So look out for those. So yeah, give me a like if you like this video. Comment below and tell me whether or not you picked up any of these particular books. And... Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Uh, a couple of the books that I didn't, that I was not able to pick up this week that I'm sure you guys are going to comment on. So before you comment on them, Curse Words, Issue 2, they did not have a single copy that was readable in the store. They were all just damaged to hell. I actually saw what happened to one of them, and it was like they had taken the book, and it was just torn. And that was a lot of them. And they were sent that way for some weird reason. I was like, also, uh, I didn't get Rocket Raccoon because, you know, they were all damaged to hell too. So those are going to be late for me. So we'll see when I actually get those, you know, whatever. 
But yeah, so comment below and tell me whether or not you picked up any of these particular issues and if you are enjoying any of them, if you'd like to see reviews for any of these specific comics. I do have reviews planned for a number of these. Yes, I do have reviews planned for a number of other comics from earlier weeks just because, you know, sickness, life, life sucks. <laughs> So subscribe to my channel for more comic book content or check out any of the older videos we have for offer here on Catwoman Figures. And until next time, I'm your host, Caitlin. Bye.